Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to another CFAT practice test questions with answers in problem solving. This is now series number 18 in my video series. So in this video, I'm gonna solve three problems. And uh, before I start, uh, I wanna to introduce armytest.com for more of these CFAT practice test questions. So I'll put the link in the description of this video for your uh, practice. Okay, so back to the video. All right, so starting right away with number one. One week is equivalent to 604,800 seconds. If an average person sleeps 7 hours a day, what percent does an average person sleep in a week? Okay. Pretty straightforward. Uh, here are your choices and the correct answer is 29%. The solution involves three steps so I broke them down into three steps to show you a clear procedure to come up with an answer so step one is to convert the given seven hours of sleep right there it was given seven hours of sleep we convert them into seconds so the daily sleep in seconds would be 7 hours times 3600 hours, sorry, 3600 seconds per hour. So 7 times 3600 is equal to 25,200 seconds per day. That's the daily uh, equivalent of the sleep in seconds. So then the step, step two is to calculate the weekly sleep in seconds. So we already know that we have 25,200 seconds per day of sleep. So all we need to do is to multi multiply 25,200 times seven days in a week. So we get 176,400 seconds of sleep in a week. So then we just needed to, uh, on step three, we just needed to calculate the percent of sleep. Uh, so we know that our weekly sleep in seconds is 176,400. So then we just needed to divide 176 thousand four hundred seconds divided by six hundred four thousand eight hundred that's the total amount of seconds per week so we get 29 percent okay which is letter c okay number two the population of Canada on May 2023 is 39,860,000. If 23% of Canadians speak French, what number does this represent? Here are your choices and the correct answer is letter D. Solution. Using long multiplication, so please remember that in, uh, in the real CFAT exam, you are not allowed to use calculators or phones. So we need to use long multiplication and it has many digits. But the trick here is to remove the four zeros in your... Uh, in your long multiplication and just multiply the non-zero numbers so you're multiplying 39,000 
860,000 times point twenty times point twenty three, which is twenty three percent. But in your solution, you're just multiplying thirty nine three nine eight six times twenty three, and then whatever the the product, you just add the four uh, the four zeros. Okay, but then you need to remove two zeros because of the uh, point twenty three has two decimal uh, has two decimal places. So the final answer is nine million one hundred sixty seven thousand eight hundred. Okay, so which is letter D. That's the answer. And last but not the least, number three. Which number is missing in the following sequence? 116, 114, 716, blank. Here are your choices and the correct answer is letter B, 5A. Solution. The sequence is increasing by 316. And the second number, one fourth, is, is, uh, cal uh, is calculated by adding 316 to the first number. So 116 plus 316 is equal to 416. And if we reduce 416 into its lowest lowest fraction form, we get one fourth. Then the next number is in the sequence is we add 316 to one fourth. So, but one fourth is also 416. So, 416 plus 316 is equal to 716. Now 716 is already in its lowest uh, form. So uh, we get 716. And then the next number in the sequence is 716 plus 316. So 716 plus 316, we get 1016. But 1016, we need to reduce that in its lowest form. So 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. So 1016 is divisible by 2 in both the numerator and the denominator. So 58 is the reduced lowest form of the fraction. So 58 is the next number in the sequence which is letter B okay so I hope you learned something from this uh, video and uh, <clears throat> I'll see you in the next video okay cheers have a good one and good luck in your uh, CFAT uh, exam I hope you pass and you have a wonderful career in Canada in the Canadian Armed Forces okay cheers and have a good one